Tommy Vassetti? <laughs> Shit. Didn't think they'd ever let him out. He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we gonna do, Sonny? We treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town, okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep the backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg. Schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold Vassetti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give it a few months. Then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. Uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, hey, great. Hey, well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So, uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nice to ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so they're brothers, okay? One operates the uh, the business, and the other one does the. Okay, that's them and the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight, let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s, used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! head out of the gutter for one freaking second and paid shovel shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, 
Doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with! Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm gonna get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm gonna mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm gonna let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then I'm gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way, not I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who's that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. Brain dead look in your eyes. Something missing? Complete the look with Men's Eyeliner at Vice City's one-stop shop for people who are cool when they cry. Wow, you look at me. Complete the look. Forgive me. It just hit me so hard sometimes, like a massive bit of masonry coming from a high building or something, or a truck driving over your foot, you know? Powerful. Make it dream where you go to work naked. 
Let's take a drink while I recompose myself. Remember, too much emotion is always a good thing. Howdy, partner. It's 4.30 in the morning here at Farewell Ranch, and it's time to get up and work the old cow. Get up, your old... A Farewell Ranch, old people don't... Buenas noches. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or uh, mental well-being, Mr. Rossetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Karamia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with him. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with Rising Silicone Star. Candy and have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with Love Fist. Yeah, can I tell you? Do you know how they play ping pong? In silence. Let me tell you. It does not involve a paddle, if you know what. Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right-hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo-intellectual film director Fish Steve Wall Scott. The throws a passion with the new four invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. And now, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as ever a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Oh, well, then other amigo. How do we find you? <laughs> Our business is very trying. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cole. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get the out of here. Sure Actually, take me to the pole position. Drinks. Spend his time stealing things and posing in silly clothes when he could be getting ahead. Will you be working for my father? Maybe. You mind me resting my hand in your lap? What? Maybe. It's so difficult having a rich and powerful father. Better than one man free! You a free dog. And speaking for the underdog, the foundation I set up with my trust fund, we believe gangs are a valid expression of a people's identity, a grouping, a community within a community. Gangs are a way to be noticed in the boxy suburbs. You sp
sure you will. Hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it! Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slime ball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. You pop up from I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know why I'm looking am? for some mate. English guy, Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. Get lost, honey. Wait, 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 wait. I'm Kent Paul. I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Get another drink, bruv. Everybody's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate? It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. That's right, go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? What you looking at? 
You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. Yeah! Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some, too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. No need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Here, take this. Follow me. This way! Shops a couple of blocks away. See what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy. Swimming to underarm and right hair was well. There's nothing more natural than this enormous bush I've got growing under each arm. Having hair is natural. What's the deal with Anglo Saxons? I mean, go to England. The women there don't shave their underarms. It's really hard. You just need to focus your eyes to look for healthy signs and not the signs of socialized barbarism, like shaving or wearing deodorant or boothing in a hospital, rather than the open air. A wolf coat. Remember Brother Romulus and the. Hey, uh, Leo, I think we got a buyer for Diaz's merchandise. Gotta give him a ring, man. Set up the deal, you know? Where are you now? 
You okay, Leo? You sound kind of different. Just tell me where you are. Who the hell is this? Put Leo on, man. Leo's gone away for a while. He left me in charge. Screw you, man. Oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that part oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look, it's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out! I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no! I tried that! The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. you can. Pretty soon the whole state will be flooded and ruined, and then they'll have to leave. We must build a moat to the north or they will come down and ruin this great state. And Mr. Hickory, were you born in Florida? <laughs> what a stupid question with all the cheek. Were you? Of course not. No one's been born in Florida since 1877, but I've been here five years. I'm Michelle Montanius. And I'm Jonathan Freelord. Public radio is very important. You may have heard my recent hour-long story about my hike in the park. That was fascinating and very important for everyone, oh, even the blind. Oh, this collection, Jonathan. I think this is the part where I came to the big tree. I almost felt like I was there. You won't get this kind of nauseating commercial radio. VCPR is 100% commercial free. Absolutely nothing interrupts your enjoyment of our fine programming and ability to tackle the important things like Jonathan's Walk in the Park. But we need you. Think of yourself as a member of this station, except you aren't allowed in the doors. That's an important metaphor for life. Yes, how wonderful would it be to own an hour of this radio station? We just got an enormous pledge from Farewell Ranch. That's great. Farewell Ranch is a great place to take your loved one. Just dial 866-9-BARRY-ME. Remember, VCPR is commercial and interest-free. Donate your money now. Let's get back to pressing issues. Thank you, guys. So, we're back on pressing issues. Just one of many fine shows you'll hear if you have the patience to listen to public radio. Although, thanks to the many awards we have... He's not guilty. Then Columbus came over, shut down the Pilgrim discourse. Why? Oh, 
were very confusing if you ask me. And you did. And I ask myself, that is a perfect subject for a region-wide discussion show. Which is very lucky because I happen to host one. To discuss the subject of morality, we have firebrand preacher Pastor Richards, the head of the Pastor Richards Salvation Statue Organization, a group that is raising enough money to build a statue of Pastor Richards himself. We also have Jan Brown, leader of Mom's Against Popular Culture, or MAPC, or is it MAPS? Map Gay? I don't know. We're deep in acronym hell right now, or is it purgatory? And finally, we have Barry Stark, author of the book, It's Nature Intent. Avery goes without saying, Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 tell me later, tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party? Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay, what could I do for you? This delivery company has got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should, stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. Richard Salvation statue. Noah had an ark. Texans had the animal. And I am building a highly fortified structure in my image. Simple. This 50 story statue will be able to deflect alpha, gamma, and beta radiation. The
fighting? Yeah, I remember. Uh, Mr. Vercetti, it was a most unfortunate incident that happened with your business deal. I know. I want you to know me and my people are doing their utmost to get to the bottom of it. If you'd like to talk to me more privately, you can find me at the bottom. Yeah. Okay? Good day, senor. Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a weight before. <laughs> I despise dried fruit. Who is this guy? Boys, deal with him. Get him! To that psycho! Excuse me, sport. Can I play through, sport?
you have insurance, moron. Get over here! gave me that. Reliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both 